R. G. Letourneau is perhaps the most inspiring Christian inventor, businessman, and entrepreneur the world has ever seen. A sixth grade dropout, Robert Gilmore R. G. Letourneau went on to become the leading earth-moving machinery manufacturer of his day, with plants on four continents. More than 300 patents to built by crews of men, dozens upon dozens of men using shovels and pickaxes and dynamite were building roads. He thought, surely I can develop a machine where one machine can do what a thousand men can do in a given day. His name and major contributions to road construction and heavy equipment that forever changed the world. Most importantly, his contribution to the advancement of the gospel ranks him among the greatest of Christian businessmen of all time. Famous for living on 10% of his income and giving 90% to the spread of the gospel, Latourno exemplified what a Christian businessman should be. R.G. Latourno dropped out of school and began working in an iron foundry at the age of 14 in the year 1901. Numerous tradesmen jobs later, he discovered a passion for machinery, initially as an auto mechanic, and later, as the manufacturer of the largest earth-moving equipment on the planet. At the age of 28, he returned from a period with the Navy serving our country in World War I to a car dealership, of which he was half-owner. That was steeped in debt due to a partner, who took to drinking. Latourno removed himself from the business with 5,000 in debt. The year was 1915. Ouch. Jobless and beyond broke, he jumped at the opportunity to level some land for a wealthy rancher. R.G. claimed that this experience was the most satisfying job he had ever held. The year was 1919, and, as a Christian, he felt the tug to be doing more for God. He went to his pastor, Reverend Duval, for advice. R.G. thought that anyone who was wholly committed to Christ had to become a pastor or a missionary to truly fulfill the Great Commission. After deep prayer with his pastor, R.G. Latourneau was shocked to hear Reverend Duval say the words that guided him for the rest of his life, God needs businessmen too. This was a revelation to R.G. He immediately began to consider his business to be in partnership with God. The following story highlights a miracle that God performed while R.G. faithfully served God, not man. The surety company that had backed R.G. Latourno on the construction job that posted the 100,000 loss was going to see to it that R.G. paid them back every penny owed. So unless our nose next job, the surety company demanded R.G. work on Sundays, or else they would foreclose on his business, his house, everything. Since R.G.'s business partner was God, he gave the problem to God to solve. The owner of the surety company, Mr. Hall, boarded a train to officially shut Latourno down, but upon arrival to the job site the next day, something miraculous occurred. The surety man had a change of heart and allowed R.G. to continue. In 1935, with the gigantic profits pouring out of the manufacturing business, at the gentle suggestion of his wife Evelyn, they transitioned to a 90-10 split with the Lord. 90% went to the Lord, and 10% went to R.G. and Evelyn. Latourno was fond of remarking, it's not how much of my money I give to God, but how much of God's money I keep for myself. With the money. They established the Latourno Foundation to manage the administration of donations. By 1959, after giving 10 million in donations to religious and educational works, the Latourno Foundation was still worth some 40 million. 